Hello guys, my name is Eric Van Wilderman. My name is Benson! And welcome back to Fatal Frame 3 The Tormented. So in the last episode we just did some optional stuff, and actually we did unlock the gate of where we're supposed to go, the next area, which is along the main quest, but we're gonna do a couple more optional things before we do end this episode. Our next destination is over here, somewhere. I think we gotta go to the rope shrine up there, and then we're gonna go to the futon room and do some stuff, and it's gonna be cool. Whoa, what? Okay. Yeah. Suffering as a priestess, yeah. It's my duty. Yeah, I know, that's the priestess's duty. The priestess has to suffer really painfully and be all secluded and away from everybody and not have any feelings. But she did have feelings towards a guy that looked like Mafuyu. That was the story of the first game. And that's why Mufuyu stayed. It's like, well, she loves someone who looked like me, so I guess I should just stay with her for eternity and accomplish nothing. Fuck. But, I mean, if he turned into a ghost too, then they can live happily ever after as a ghost couple. But what if he realized he didn't like her? He's like, well, you know, I thought it was a good idea, but I don't like her personality, and now I'm stuck with her forever. Wouldn't that be awful? Wouldn't that be awkward, being stuck with someone forever who you didn't like? Yeah, well, maybe Mafuyu will have to do that. What a guy. Well, let's go take this picture, because we're going to take this picture, and then it'll we can develop it later on. We can give it to Miku. Miku, we're going to give this picture to you. An image of something that's been caught on the photo. Okay, well, yeah, we'll, we'll give that to Miku later. Let's peace out. We're getting we're going to get out of here. What? Whoa, 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 the bug, uh, what the hell? What? Oh, there's a ghost here! I can- Oh my god! It's you! Oh my god. Oh my god. You're going down, biatch. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's just- let's... Where are you? Oh, she loves to fly in from, like, everywhere. Fuck it. I'm out. I don't think she's important to fight anyways. Whatever. I got my picture. I'm out of here. Don't need to fight you. I fought in her a lot of times before and just don't give a shit. Okay, let's peace out. Whoa, okay! What? What's going on? What's going on? It's this way. Up. Oh, whoa! I felt a vibration! I felt a vibration! Oh my god! It's the rope maiden! Oh, there go! Oh my god! Okay, hey, come on! I- Oh, you're so easy! So easy! You love it! Oh no! I tried to use my blast technique because I thought there was gonna be another fatal frame. Oh, I love being able to see the health. It's so nice! It's so nice! Oh, this fight's so easy. Oh, be gone, biatch! That's right, Shride Maiden. That's I love the measure function. I love being able to see the health. It's so convenient. Okay, we gotta go to the futon room now, which is just conveniently right down there. Oh, do you hear that? Uh... By the way, this next side quest is about the crawling girl, the crawling lady, or the crawling woman, whatever you want to call it. The crawling woman who was under the floorboards who scared the shit out of me. Oh, that's because she was hiding. Okay, I gotta let her out. Let's let her out. I feel sorry for you. I think she's in the closet. Okay, you can come out. Oh, that's, oh I'm so fucked up. Oh, what? Oh shit! I was supposed to take a picture of her really quickly. I missed it. Oh well. My bad. Okay, it's come. Uh, uh. She's coming for me though. God damn you! There you are. Ah, oh, I got you. Not quite yet. Oh, there we go. I got you. I got you. Ah, you suck when you're not in the floorboards. Ah, 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 ah. done. She's done. Yes. Oh, yeah! Oh, one combo. That sounded very sensual, actually. But I'm glad I got that. Okay, well, anyways, that's all for the side quest, so I'm just gonna go back to the door that we're supposed to go through to progress the main story. Booyah, baby. 
Okay, guys, so I ventured back up to here. Now, what? Whoa, whoa, oh my god, he's gonna protect me. Must not be spread. What? The unleashing cannot be allowed to continue. Okay, well, I don't want it to continue either. Hey, what are you looking at me for, okay? Oh, did I get it? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Whoa, that was close. That was close. I got it again. Ooh. I missed it. What? The light was still there. It's bullshit. Oh, I'm at, oh, I see. I'm out of film. Oh, God. I didn't even realize that. Oh, you guys suck, man. Oh, hey. Get out of my face. I said I'm going to blast you. No. What? He just went through me. He's like, ah, attacking's way too mainstream. Oh my god, this guy's easy. Boom, I blasted you. But my... My Type 7 film really sucks. So this guy might take a few combo shots. Oh, you suck! Ghost! You fail! Oh god, this ghost is so jealous of all the other ghosts. I bet he's like, I want to be like the other ghosts. They always laugh at me. Oh, why do they always laugh at me? Is it because I'm so slow? Is it? I don't know. I don't know why. Well, he certainly is taking a lot of shots, but understandably it's because I'm using my Type 7 film. You sure can take a beating. Reminds me of the Homer Simpson episode, in the, in, or in the, the Simpsons episode, where uh, Homer is gets into boxing just because the other boxer gets tired. Whenever they beat him, whenever they start fighting him. Oh shit, I missed that one. That was a fail. But whatever, still got you. Ah, you're dead. No, you're not. Whatever, type 7 for the win, baby. For the win. Oh, I missed. But I killed you. Sacrifices. <laughs> oh, you sucked. Mr. Master Carpenter. I think he's the Master Carpenter or whatever, the lead one. Oh, you... Oh, he sucks so bad. Carpenter, why'd you suck so bad, man? Okay, whatever. Let's get through this door now. Finally, let's get through this goddamn door. Don't tell me we're gonna wake up. Come on, I've been trying for so long to get through this door. What? Benson? I don't know where... I don't know either, Benson. Let's just go. Let's just go. Don't ask... Qu oh, fucking... We should ask questions, maybe. <laughs> Are there twins there? Twins. No, I've had enough of twins. I don't want to... What? Slow down. A hanging person. It's not very nice. Leg. Why do I keep on looking back? I keep on thinking I'm hearing something. Okay, whatever. Let's just walk between them. What could go wrong? What? Nothing. Oh, we wake up to. Come on. I want to progress. I want to know what happens. I want to go in further to the other shrine or altar or whatever it's called. Oh, wow. Oh, God. It's taking over her body more. It's on her leg now. Oh, God, no. By the way, guys, my theory about... Uh, the game. I got some film that's great. Let's go answer the phone for- anyways, my theory about the game is before I said that it's when you lose a lover and you feel guilty you think it's your fault, the tattoo appears, but on Miku the tattoo is appearing too, so it can't be a lover because Mafuyu died in her case, and in Kei's case, Mayu died because Kei is the uncle, so I think it's just someone close to you when someone close to you dies and you feel guilty about it. So Miku feels guilty because she didn't bring him back from the Himoto Mansion. Kei feels guilty because, I don't know, maybe he just wasn't there for her enough. Yes, Kurosawa speaking. Is it Kei? No. It... Miku? Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Someone in the manner of sleep, probably. Okay. Don't worry, I'll let you out, girl. What the fuck? Phone's off the hook. Hello? It's K. This is Amakura. Hi, Amakura. Ah. Uh, but the let me out thing, I can still hear it. Did you have that dream again today? Yes. I see. I think we should go check out that abandoned house one more time. We might be able to find something out. I'll look over the local legends and stories and bring what I have with me. 
Just what happened in that manner. Books describe it as an engraving shrine. Maybe if we combine the information we have, something might come to light. Yes, well... What? Yes, well, what? Uh... What? Did we... Did we meet him? Or did we just hang around here all day and sit on our bed? With the ghost underneath our bed? What did we do? Whoa! Oh my god, the cup was shaking! Oh, so weird. I love this. This is totally giving me Silent Hill 4 vibes. Oh, Silent Hill 4, you're in a small apartment, so it feels a lot more claustrophobic. Okay, let's go to U's room first. Let's see what kind of documents are in here. Documents. Anything. There's a notebook that says the manner of sleep. Yes. The Manor of Sleep Urban Legend. The Manor of Sleep is an urban legend that was whispered among those in psychiatry about hospitalized patients suddenly disappearing. There are several stages to it and it progresses like a sickness, having the same dream. The patients who later go missing first see the same dream every day, usually about dead lovers or family. Dreaming of the Manor. Next, the patients dream about wandering into a large manor. It is a huge, snowy Japanese-style house. It is laid out haphazardly, as though many extensions were added. Then deep in the manor, one discovers their dearly departed. Proceeding deeper in the manor, patients follow the deep dead. T <laughs> deeper into the manor, most patients find the same scenes and phenomena along the way. For example, hearing a lullaby, seeing a mass funeral march, or being pursued by a tattooed woman. Mm. Hallucinations while awake. At this stage, the patient complains of abnormalities of the body while awake. The symptoms are common to all patients, and when they wake, they feel a sharp pain and see a growing blue bruise or snake-like tattoo. Decrease in waking hours. At this stage, the patient's response to external stimulation grows weaker. The time spent in sleep also slowly increases from a medical viewpoint. This is a defensive reaction to pain. So if the patients are actually in pain, it is a normal response. Missing, vanishing. Then, one to two months after the first stage, the patient goes missing. Missing is the official turn. It is said the patient actually vanishes, leaving only a black soot-like mark. <laughs> That's fucked up. The tattoo probably takes them over and, like, burns them or something. Well, no... Then again, Yoshino Takigawa kind of like just went on the roof and was like, eh, and like scurried out of there. The above mentioned is the original The Manor of Sleep Urban Legend, but the popular legend is more story-like and includes the following elements. Strong feelings for the dead summon the first nightmare. See, strong feelings for the dead. I knew it. Once you follow the deceased in the dream, you can no longer return. Re oh, shit. Uh-oh. <laughs> If the sleeping person dreams of a lover or friend, it will beckon the person into sleep. Manner of sleep disease spreads thusly. Deep in the manner of sleep is the world of the dead, and if you make it, you can meet the deceased there. Oh, so we're... Wow, that's gonna be crazy. We're actually gonna meet you in there. Ooh. Ooh, you. We're gonna meet you, you. You, 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 you. Okay, let's go talk to Miku. Our friend Miku. Who we haven't told anything to. Who still thinks we're just both having weird dreams. That's silly. Okay, guys, it's time to talk. It's time to finally talk Ray? this over. Here. Here you go, Ray. I thought this festival was similar to that ceremony like photo with the twins. Oh, okay. Some of the villages in the mountain region practice a folk religion rite that defy, deifies twins born in the village as priestesses. We know this. It is called the twin ceremony. When twins born in the village reach a certain age, most commonly 15 years, they are dressed in white. Then as priestesses, they are joined by a red cord and conduct a seance. This red cord is said to represent the twins as one person, and in the region it is custom to believe that when the twins become one, they have the power of the gods. So, our friend Mio has the power of the gods. This rite is supposed to protect the village from calamity, and it is also supposed to bless them with bountiful harvest. Thanks, I'll hold on to it. If you need something else, just tell me. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to talk about... I'm so tired. Oh, yeah, I know... For some reason, I feel so cold. Oh, her hair is really long. Lately, all I can think about is the past. Like, back when I was a child. Yeah, you said that to me last time. What are you, a robot? Lately, You're a robot. I can think You're a robot, past. I know. Like shh. back when I was a child. Robot, shh. Let's go develop these photos and then give them to her. I know you're tired, but go research this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care about your health, just research this, okay? Get on with it. 
Okay, developing photos time. Developing photos time. Dun 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 dun. I wonder if I'm gonna get scared. Am I gonna get scared? Is there anything gonna jump out at me? Nope, nope, nothing's gonna jump out at me. What the fuck? Oh my god! That was so fucked up! Holy shit! Oh my god! <gasps> Holy shit, that was fucked! That was crazy, guys! That was nuts! That was one of the scariest moments in the house so far. Okay, let's develop these photos. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to develop. That's the girl in the closet. And that's the rope one. Okay. Oh, the girl in the closet. The girl in the closet. Okay, let's get back. Okay, Miku, I want to give these pictures to you. I'm so tired. I know you're tired, but just shut up and take the pictures. It feels so cold. Shut up and take the photos, okay? I'm sorry. Did you need something? Yeah, take the photos. Good, thank you. I see, but... Ray, I'm a little nervous. Why? Lately, all I can think about is the past. Come on, take the other one. Back when I was a child. I know, you've said that before. Did I, did I give her both of them? Lately, oh shit, I must have just given her both of them. The okay, well I'm pretty sure I gave her the photos I need to give her. So, whatever guys, you know what? I'm gonna go save my game. And in the next episode, uh, we're gonna go sleep again. And it's gonna be great. We're gonna sleep and we're gonna go into the next hour, which is hour number 10. Which means we're getting closer to the end of the game. We'll be in hour 10, and I think there's 13 hours. Maybe there's a final hour, too, so that'd be like 14. So that means we have, what, 10, 11, 12, 13... Oh, <laughs> never mind. We still have a ways to go. We're about two-thirds of the way through the game. We're getting there. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then, okay, guys?